Alright, what's up? This is another episode of Taste of 20. This time, we went to... Dun, 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 Taco Bell. Alright, so what I got here is the Happy Hour menu. Uh, I think they called it Pop Rocks Strawberry uh, Icy. Let's try that. And I got three Happy Hour, not really Happy Hour, dollar menu items. Happy Frito Burrito. I believe this is the tostada, 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 yeah. And last but not least, I have this, um, I believe it was the uh, quesadilla, the mini quesadilla, chicken quesadilla. Alright, so first off, we'll try the icy. See if it's good or even worth it. Okay. Wow. Tastes like strawberries. I don't see where the pop rocks or where the pop rocks are even located. Maybe somewhere in the bun. That's pretty good though. I don't taste any pop rocks. Alright. First, we'll try the uh, Frito Burrito. So, you see, about the size of my hand for a buck. Doesn't seem too bad of a cost or too much of a risk. And those Fritos actually really do add a crunch to it. Um, I like the spicy Frito, the Frito Burrito more they had a long time ago, more. But this one's not bad. Um, I'll give this like, I don't know, a, um, I guess, a four or for imaginality, this is pretty good. Imagine taste slightly bland. Well, I guess I could put some hot sauce on it. Let's see if it tastes any better. But uh, the Diablo hot sauce, mm, I don't think it will. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. This actually helps a lot. Yeah, but the real itself. I'll probably never get it again, but if I'm really hungry, I wouldn't turn it down. But definitely two out of five. Tastes okay. Size and filler. Probably, I mean, it's more like a filler food. So let's try the uh, quesadilla. Oh, this is how it looks like. I'm gonna open it up. Literally. Comes, most of it's stuck to the foil. And everything, so you gotta pull it apart like that. Looks kind of like a taco, uh, so I'm gonna eat it kind of like a taco, maybe because it's like a taco quesadilla. Mm. Mm. Definitely way better. Linda Brutal. Dang. This is surprisingly good. It's very good cheese. Very cheesy. The chicken has a nice kick and spice to it. Blends very nicely with the tortilla. Surprisingly, the only thing I don't like is how they put it together and wrap it like that. But definitely, this is uh, a winner. I'll probably order a lot more of these. This is very juicy chicken. I'm gonna go with a five out of five on this one. This is a really good price for a buck. Mmm. Very good. I need some of this icy. You cool down my mouth a little. Not because it's spicy, but <clears throat> maybe I want to try out the other. 
to start it and see how this tastes. So the starter. All right, it's got tomatoes, lettuce, and it's kind of like I'm gonna eat this kind of like a pizza. You know what? This is not so bad either. For a buck, a dollar. This is not gonna be a five out of five though. I'll tell you. The uh, shell. You know what I mean? The shell, this thing. It's a little bit on the bland side. It tastes like I don't know, like a Frito chip without the salt. But it holds everything together, so I can't knock it on that. But this uh, tostada is not evenly distributed. Like it's you know like uh, look at some of the cheese is more on one side than the other. And I guess the tomatoes aren't all the way across, so you're gonna get like an uneven distribution of when you eat this. And maybe that's how it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. But you can, see, you can clearly tell there's more or less on one side too. See, there's more or less on this side than there is on this side. Just that it's not very well put together, but it tastes pretty good. Better than a burrito for sure. Overall, this experience, yeah, Taco Bell's done a pretty good job. I'll definitely go to Taco Bell more often. Probably not to get the Frito Burrito, but I'll definitely get this and the, which is the Tostada, and definitely the Quesadilla again. It's pretty good. I like it. You know what, Taco Bell? Good job. Thank you for watching.